worship. We ain't a force to be reckoned with. Let us come against principalities and powers and weakness in high places. Prepare us for battle in the nation, God. We, we pray for repentance for this nation, God. Pastors, God, as people of God, we come back to the altar. We rebuild the altar of God in America so that we can pray with authority, so that we can decree and declare peace. We can decree and declare change in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, we need you today. We need you to move today. We need you to come in, God. You say whatever. Two or more gathered in your name. You're there in the midst, God. We thank you for being in the midst of us. And we worship you today. We magnify you today. We bow down in our hearts today. And we worship you. Hallelujah with a love that could not be in. In Jesus' name. Come on and turn around and lift those hands. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. Come on, start praying down heaven right now. I want you to start crying out right now. Come on, start praying, church. Come on, start praying right now. Come on, come on, come on. Magnify the Lord with me. We will exalt his name forever. Lord, this last year we magnified politicians. We magnified diseases. We magnified other things of this world. But tonight, Lord, tonight in Jesus' name, we magnify the King of kings and the Lord of lords. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end. You're the first, you're the last, you're the author, the finish, you're of our faith. God, I pray tonight that Jehovah Jireh shows up in our midst. I pray that Jehovah Shalom is in here with us. The God of peace. God, I pray right now that Jehovah, I pray, Lord, that you would be with us, not us, direct us. Lord, I pray that you're opening eyes to see, that you're opening ears to hear. Lord, I pray for a Jericho type moment tonight. Come on, we pray for a Jericho type moment tonight. We pray for a Jericho moment tonight. I pray that walls are coming down. Addictions are being broken. Healing is flowing through this place. And I pray that you bring us to us by your rich treasure and glory. Lord, strengthen us tonight. Reinforce us with might to your inner man. The Holy Spirit himself to our inmost being and personality. Espíritu Santo, gracias en el nombre de Jesús. En este momento, Dios. Oh, Padre, oremos por cada uno de los que están perdidos, Señor, por cada uno de los que no te conocen. Jesús, opera en sus vidas, en sus corazones. Gracias por habernos depositado de tu amor, Señor, para brindar, para dar, para ofertar, Señor, a aquel que no te conoce. En este momento, en el nombre de Jesús, oramos por esta nación, oramos por este estado, oramos por esta ciudad, por esos perdidos Señor, por aquellos que se han des desviado de tus caminos Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, pedimos que ahora, en este momento tú veres Dios tú conozcas Señor ese corazón y lo traigas hacia ti, porque tú Espíritu Santo estás aquí, llenas este lugar llenas tú tu presencia y Señor, aquí ocurrirán milagros de salvación milagros de salvación en el nombre de Jesús, porque Él es Dios Todopoderoso. Everybody under the side of my voice, just shout glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for this gathering of folk. Satan, we kick you in the face and we send you back to hell right now. We declare victory over the people of God. Father God, we say right now, unleash your gifts right now. 
I pray your gifts, Father God, that they would flow out of us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ for his glory and for his glory only, Father God, that signs and wonders would follow all of those who believe, Lord. And tonight, they're right on our tails. Tonight, they're right beside us. Tonight, signs and wonders happen and that people would be healed, that people would come to know you, that people would see you, that people would rejoice with you, that people would glorify you, Father God. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. Now shout hallelujah. Now listen, we go to a lot of cities and we meet a lot of pastors we've never met. But in some cities we go to, we've got brothers there who don't play games, who have backbone, who don't just fight for the church, but they fight for their city. They fight for America. And we are honored to stand with one of our brothers tonight who we love dearly from Let Us Worship. Can we honor Pastor Brian Gibson as he comes to the stage? I think they're here for revival, guys. I want to declare over Amarillo, Texas, declare over America that revival is not coming. I said revival is not coming. I said revival is not coming. Revival is not coming. Revival is already here. Come on, it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Declare that over your city. Somebody say it's here. It's in my kids' lives. It's in our high schools. It's in our colleges. It's in our churches. And it's in our streets. Amen. Oh, come on, lift your hands to heaven. Father, we thank you right now that there's an outpouring of the Spirit in Amarillo, Texas. I thank you, Father, that you're going to do something tonight that'll cause the ears of those you hear about it to tingle. I thank you, Father, that you're going to move heaven and earth. Father, so that miracles can flow, salvation can come. Father, that you'll shake this city to its core. We declare every sick person is whole. We declare every lost person is found. We declare that every person that needs deliverance receives it now. And we declare with one voice that revival is here. Come on, shout it out loud. Somebody say revival is here in Jesus. Now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a quick announcement, and then we're going to shout the rooftops. Now, I just want to say this to everybody who we love so much, who brought all your wonderful chairs. In about 45 minutes to an hour, this is going to become an altar. And people are going to get saved, delivered, transformed, set on fire. So I want to encourage you with people with chairs, you might want to fold them up because we don't want people to run over them and break their anything, right? We do have healing ministry, but we don't want anybody to trip over those chairs. So when we do the altar call, please just push it away for us if you can. Now here's what we're going to do. Before, how many of you guys love my brother Sean Foy? Come on, somebody. But more than that, tonight, on Friday night, in Amarillo, Texas, I believe that there's a bunch of warriors here that you believe that the Holy Spirit living in you is greater than the demonic forces that's tried to come out in America. And I believe the Bible says the church suffered violent, but the violent take it by force. So I'm gonna count to three, and when I do, I want you to throw one finger in the air, and we're gonna let out a war cry. We're gonna let out a shout for 20 seconds. It's not gonna be a Dallas Cowboy shout. It's not going to be a Houston Texan shout. It's not going to be a Maverick shout. It's going to be such a roar that angels are going to ascend and descend. It's going to be the fire of God. Are you ready, Amarillo? Here we go. One, two, Amarillo, let's go.
Oh man, I love Texas. <laughs> when this whole journey started, I said, God, why did you have to start this in California? <laughs> oh, it's so good to be back here. And um, you know, the moment that I put this hat on, I just felt like I was in the spirit. The mantle of the state came upon me. <laughs> um, but we, uh, you know, God ignited this movement in the face of uh, a really crazy season in America. And the enemy overplayed his hand in 2020, released this virus. And then worse than the virus was the fear of the virus. All these crazy tyrannical governors that thought that they could tell the church how and when we should worship. <laughs> and uh, so we took a stand in California and, you know, in the midst of it all, and I just want to be really clear, there's never a theological precedent to let the government tell you how to worship God. If you need a refresher, read the book of Acts. But we, uh, we started releasing these songs in that season, these songs of joy, these songs of hope. And I want to start out with one of them because it's a wild, fun, dance party song called Louder. And the chorus goes like this. And nothing's going to stop us singing your praise. Nothing in the world will stand in the way of all God's people lifting Jesus up. Oh, you're never gonna silence hearts ablaze. Shout a hallelujah to his name. Oh, God's people, come on, lift him up. Turn to someone and say, it's Friday night. It's time to dance. Yeehaw.
thing that can hold these praises. So come on, lift your song, for our God is with us. There's no building, there's no ceiling that can hold these praises. Nothing's gonna stop us singing your praise. Nothing in the world will stand in the way of all.
breaking off depression. I just feel like it's time to break off depression in this city. It's time to break off anxiety. It's time to break off the addiction to prescription drugs. It's time to break off alcoholism. Come on, just keep playing it.
through a test. We've come out the other side, filling the earth with the sound of worship. It's just like Paul and Silas in prison. They bowed their feet and they bowed their hands, but they forgot to cover their mouth. And as the sound of their voices was raised, even the prison doors began to shake. Come on, how many believe tonight for the prison doors and ever really are going to get to shake? The prison doors of this city on Friday night to begin to shake. So come on, I want you to sing this with me as a declaration. I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop praising. Come on. And I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop praising. Beautiful. Come on, sing it with me. And I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop praising. I'm never gonna stop praising. I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop praising. I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop praising. I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop praising. I can feel the shaking. across this city tonight that the presence of God would invade the bars, the clubs that God would arrest people even as they're driving down the street the presence of God would come in their car we thank you God tonight for prodigal sons and daughters that you're calling home across this city Lord we thank you God that you're breaking the back of the spirit of religion that wants to shame and you're bringing them home with a ring and a robe Release freedom now across this city. Release freedom now across this park. Come on, just begin to lift your voice. Come on, let's just begin to lift our voice. Come on, let's just begin to lift our voice. Come on, just begin to lift our voice.
praise the glory forever on me. Come on, sing it out. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory forever. Thank you. 
the gates that heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. The fire and wind come and do it again. Open up the gates that heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. And, and, the, and there was this fear that gripped the earth. 
And the enemy was trying to do everything he could to shut the mouths of the church from worshiping. Now the funny thing is that he overplayed his hand like he always does. And he didn't realize that the church was going to leave the building. Can we say that one more time? The church was going to leave the building. Now listen. I met a nice mega church. We got a nice building. Like the churches in Amarillo. Y'all got nice buildings. Y'all got nice screens. You got nice comfortable setups. You might even have a little fog machine. You might even have the nice ambiance. Your chairs are really comfortable. Our live stream is the best sounding in the world. We have the best band. You know what? But we were kicked out of the church and you know what it's about time the church got kicked out of the building because i heard i heard even today that the last time there was worship on this stage was nine years ago and you know what if we didn't have the pandemic and we didn't have this movement we might not be here today but guess what friday night in amarillo the presence of god is filling this It's not about our names. It's not about our likes. It's not about our popularity. It's about the kingdom of heaven coming to the earth. It's about God marking us with the Holy Spirit tonight. Listen, we just celebrated Pentecost. Right? That's when the, the, the presence of God came. And you know what happened at Pentecost? It wasn't about a conference. It was about a commissioning. And I just believe, I can feel it tonight as we were singing that. Holy Spirit, come rest on us. I just felt the Holy Spirit. Oh, I can feel it right now. I can feel the Holy Spirit these days easier in parks than in churches. I don't know what it is. But I just feel like all of heaven has been waiting for nine years. I can't wait for worship to fill this park again. And I just want us, I just want us to lift our hands. I just feel like we have a moment right now. And I want to sing that. Holy Spirit, come rest on us. And I want to believe that this moment right here, on everybody all across this place, if you're sitting down, I want you to stand up. And I just am believing that right now the Holy Ghost is going to fall. Come on, how many of you feel that right here? And I feel like today there's a commissioning. The post-COVID church looks different than the pre-COVID church. We're a little bit more raw. We're a little bit more rowdy. We got our courage back. We got our roar back. We got our strength back. We're not just Christian clubs. We're breaking the back of religion. We're releasing freedom. So come on, sing this with me. Lift your hands. Just sing it. In Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all we want. Come on, lift it up. You're all we want. Come on, every voice. In Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all I hear the park tonight. You're all we want. Come on, lift it up. In Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all we want. You're all
You know, what happens when this, when true worship is released, when true radical adoration and praise is released, it exposes all the religious spirits. All the trolls come out. We've had quite a lot of them in this season. And that's okay. You know, David uh, got a little crazy and danced in his underwear. Now, I'm not asking that of you tonight. Please, keep your clothes on. But anytime there's an expression of true adoration, and, you know, one of my favorite stories, and I just feel this so so much on my heart tonight and I want to share this quickly and we're going to do more worship and more ministry and it's Friday night and it's going to get lit but but you have this story in John chapter 12 which I really I really feel like is a prophetic picture of this season and God uses the worship of a prostitute woman to set the new standard in the New Testament isn't this wild? Listen, Jesus could have used anybody. But it was the worship of a prostitute woman who didn't know the church rules. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Man, y'all should have seen it the other night. We were in Colorado and we, we just been going after this spirit of death and suicide and this occult thing. We've been going after it, right? And we started preaching the love of God and singing about it. And we had these two Satanists that were just in the park. Because like Satanists don't come to a, let us worship. But when you're in a park, you have something called collateral damage. So they heard the music and they, they started coming closer and closer and closer down front. And by the altar call, they were throwing all their occult satanic symbols and necklaces on the altar they threw drugs and heroin on the stage and they released the most wild sound of worship that Colorado's ever seen because they weren't church people and they were it's like some of us we've forgotten what we were saved from and that's what religion does right it pushes down that passion. And so John chapter 12, you have this woman that, that breaks into the green room. Right? Jesus is in the green room and they're eating the disciples. And she's a woman, which is a big deal. And she doesn't have clearance to enter the green room, but she breaks into it. And she breaks open her bottle that doesn't just represent an offering, but it represents everything from her past. How she made a living selling her body. And without shame, she says, I'm done with this lifestyle and I'm giving you everything, Jesus. Here's the wild thing about what happened. In the presence of such, ex such extravagant worship, Jesus' own disciples missed it they were offended because what she did was so radical they said whoa 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 you're, you're not supposed to give it all Mary come on just chill like give a little bit at a time we could have taken that money and done this we could have taken that money and done this we could have taken that money and done this and you know Jesus is the ultimate defender of the true worshiper We've learned that. You don't got to defend yourself. We'll do it for you, you know? Jesus defended her. He said, you guys are missing it. My favorite line of that in John chapter 12, it says, Then Mary took a pint of pure nard and expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. And I've always loved that verse because it's like, Anybody that came into that room, probably for weeks and weeks and weeks, could smell the worship of one woman that gave it all. In fact, many theologians believe that when Jesus was on the cross weeks later, 
that the fragrance of what she get put on his feet was so strong that every person that was around the cross it was undeniable they could smell the offering of worship that Mary gave weeks earlier isn't that wild and what happens when we give ourselves with extravagant worship it's not just the fragrance fills the room it's the fragrance fills the high schools the fragrance fills the campuses the fragrance fills the businesses the fragrance fills our city the fragrance fills the park and i don't know about you but it's time for the church to smell good again and i believe tonight is a moment in this place of worship where there's people here it's time for you to give an offering. An offering that represents your past. It's an offering that may represent pain. It's an offering that may represent addiction. It may represent shame. I'm telling you, in this park tonight, this place is a no shame zone. Turn to someone and say, no shame zone. That means tonight people are gonna get freed and we're gonna celebrate it. People are gonna get freed and we're gonna celebrate it. Why? Because all every angel in heaven is about to celebrate. But like Mary, you gotta take that bold step. You gotta say, no, I don't care what they think in the green room. I'm done. I don't care anymore what they think about me. I don't care the judgments they're going to say. I don't care the things that they're going to say about my past. I don't care if they know how I got this money. I'm giving it all at the feet of Jesus. And it takes that kind of bold worshiper to break open their bottle. To bring an offering. And I believe tonight there's people here that you've been through a difficult season. This season with COVID, the lockdowns, the businesses being shut, the election, the economy, it's just thrown a lot of people into a tailspin. Suicide rates are increasing. Depression is on levels we've never seen. Divorces are happening like crazy. People are filled with anxiety. They're filled with chaos. And a lot of churches haven't even been open. And this is a moment in this park where we say, God, all of the stuff I've been dealing with in the past, the addictions, the unhealthy things, the pornography, the alcohol, the drugs, the things that I've tried to do to cope, prescription drugs that can't even be, depression, hopelessness, anxiety, fear, whatever it is, tonight's the night where we lay it at the feet of Jesus. And we turn what the enemy meant to shame us into an offering of praise. So I want to take a moment, if you're here, and either one, you've been in a season of just, it's been heavy for you. You've been filled with anxiety. You've gone into bad habits. Maybe you've battled with stuff. We all do. And you just feel like you've fallen away. And tonight, as we were worshiping, God was setting your heart on fire. I want to speak to you tonight. And maybe there's some of you that are here. They like that amazing couple in Colorado. You've never fully surrendered your life to Jesus. But you're within the sound of my voice. And you know that what I'm speaking is true. And your heart is beating faster than you could have ever thought of. And you know this is your moment to respond. I'm speaking to two groups of people tonight. And listen, tonight as you take a bold step. All of heaven is going to celebrate and all of us are going to celebrate. So on the count of three, if you're in one of those two categories, I do not want you to miss it. One, this is the entire reason that we came here tonight. It's for you. This is why we brought this band. This is why we brought these speakers. This is why we came all the way from California, our team. Because we believe that your life is worth it. And we believe that God a destiny and a purpose and a plan for you. Two, don't let this moment pass you by. Don't let this moment pass you by. You're not promised tomorrow. 
Three, if that's you, I want you to lift your hand. Come on, I want you to lift your hand boldly. Boldly, come on, lift your hand. Come on, let's give it up for these, come on. Come on, let's give it up for these, come on. Let's give it up, come on. Louder, I see hands everywhere. I see hands all over the place, come on. Come on, I see hands. Salvation has come to Amarillo, Texas, come on. what I want you to do. I asked you to do this in the beginning of the service, but I want everybody to take 10 steps back. If you're sitting down, stand up. We're going to create an altar here tonight. If you guys don't mind, you can stand up and move those chairs back to make room. Take 10 steps back. Please don't move out of this moment. Please, everybody in the front, just can y'all stand up and push your chairs back. Y'all take a little bit more, guys. Hey, everybody take a little bit more, a little bit more. Now here's, here's what I want you to do. Just lift your hands for just a moment. I don't want you to get out of this place. Just lift your hands across this place. Lift your hands, lift your hands. I want you to close your eyes for just a moment. Listen to me with every head bowed and every eye closed tonight. Some of you raised your hands because you were honest. And there were some others in this place that you go to church, but you're living in bondage. There's addictions in your life, pornography. Your marriage is a wreck right now because COVID forced you to be around your family. And you know that you want to be free, but you've tried it. You've said the prayers, you've ran to the front, you've done it all. But today I didn't come to you in the name of the church, even though I'm a pastor. I came to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth with a move of revival. And if you raised your hands or you did not raise your hands, I'm going to count to three. And when I count to three, without looking around to see if somebody else is doing it, if you need to, the power of God is going to hit this altar. And I'm going to ask the ministry team to not lay hands on anybody yet because we want God to touch them first. And I will let you know when it's your time, ministry team. But in just a moment, I'm going to count to three. And whether you raised your hands or you did not raise your hands and you say, Jay, I need a touch from the Lord. I need to be free. I need to be set on fire. Don't let religion, don't let pride or anything hold you back. This is your moment. And if you are a leader or a pastor, we had a pastor a few weeks ago who was bound in addiction. He got free that day. Don't worry about your title. Worry about your freedom. And today, Jesus is going to set you free. I'm going to count to three. And when I do, I want you to run as fast as you can and fall on your knees as close to the stage. Are you ready? Here we go. Amarillo. One, two, three. Run now. Come on, all over this place. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. From the back, from the back. There's more. You need Jesus. Run down here. Come on, come on, come on. Run down here now. Come on, there's more. Fall on your knees before the Lord. Come on, 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 come on. There's more. There's more. There's more.
you stay here, ministry team, wait. Everybody just stand and grab the hand of the person beside you if you're standing. Listen to me. We're the good Samaritans. We don't let anybody lay on the street that needs healing. If you need healing in your life, you're a Christian. You need healing. But you didn't come down here because you're like, man, I'm going to be okay. I got six months in a sozo lined up next week. You need healing and you didn't make a move. You say, well, Jesus can touch me right here. Yes, he can. If you need freedom in your life, when I count to three, I want you to squeeze the person's hand beside you. One, don't be ashamed. Two, don't hold back. Three, squeeze their hand. Now, if somebody just squeezed your hand, I want you to lift it up right now. Lift it up. Oh, my gosh. Bring that person to this altar right now. Bring them to this altar. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring them to the altar. Fall on your knees before the Almighty God. The rest of you, let go of your hands. Come on. Bring them to the altar. Bring them to the altar. We don't let no one leave behind. No one left behind. The rest of you, they room. Come on.
Look right at the cross. I want you to see Jesus. Because everything on that cross separates you from death and brings you into life. Everybody in this place, I want you to say it with all of your heart. Some of you are looking at me and looking at the band. I want you to look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Say this right to his face. Say Jesus. Jesus. Come on, that's not everybody. Say Jesus. Jesus. Today, Jesus. I give you my life. I feel you pulling on my heart. Today, I give you all of my life, all of my mind, all of my heart. Come now and set me free by your stripes. I am healed. I am delivered. Today, I know you love me. I love you too. Please forgive me. Wash me with your blood. It should have been me dying on the cross. But today, I know you did it for me. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. 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 Now stay in that place. Don't go nowhere. Just stay in that place. We're going to sing a song over you. And then I'm going to have the ministry team come in just a moment. Please don't fill out follow-up cards yet. I want you to pray first. We want the Spirit of God first. We can get that card in a second. But I want everybody just to stay in this place because His glory is here. Take me back to my first love. Take me back. Take me back to my first love. Take me back. Take me back to my first love. Take me back. Take me back to my first love. Take me back. Take me back to 
we came. Now, I got to be honest, this happens everywhere. A lot of times we don't have enough ministry team to help, so we're going to need some of you radical people who didn't need to come down here to come down here and help us pray. But I, and, I, and you're going to lay hands on people, pray over them, and embrace them. But before I do that, I want, we've seen drugs, nicotine. We've seen people take the phone up here. And if you do that, make sure you watch it so you can get it back. We've seen people battle with all types of stuff. Tobacco products, drug products. Somebody threw a strip card, a, a VIP strip card on the stage. And as they're praying for you, if you've got something in your pocket, listen to me. Jesus has set you free now. But you can't walk back into your mess. Christian record looks like. Let people follow you for the way you follow Jesus. If you got something in your pocket and you got to throw it on this stage, you're going to set an example for everybody to get free. Are you with me right now? Ministry team, come for it. Come through the crowd. I want you to pray for it first. Come through the crowd. Find somebody. Ministry team, just push your way through the crowd. All over this place. Mamas and papas, come find somebody and pray over them. Pray over them first. I want you to pray over them. Ask them what you can pray. All over this place. Come pray for people. And while they're praying for you,
shame-free zone because people are battling with stuff and a lot of times the church we have not known how to help them but I want you to know one touch of revival of a real move of God can change you forever that pastor they got free of shooting dope this revival caused him to say I want to be free I've been shooting dope all over America preaching and you know what his boldness set him free and set so many other people free. And he told everyone about it on Instagram. He said, I'm free. He's got hundreds of thousands of followers. <laughs> and today, I want you to know that we've done a great job of loving people. But there's some areas that we may have caused you to feel like this subject was something that you were afraid to talk about. And I don't care what some rapper says. I want you to know that not only does Jesus, but the new church of America, we're not afraid of your mess. And whatever you struggle with, I want you to know Jesus loves you. Your battle may be different than mine, but I want you to know your battle belongs to the Lord, amen. And we're going to celebrate your honesty and we're going to help you with your mess. We're not going to ask you to bow your head or close your eyes. We're going to do something so radical to help you. And I know in a small town, sometimes this is hard. I'm from a small town. My mom was a prostitute. My dad was a drug addict. And I was bound in addiction 25 years ago. But you know what my problem was? I wasn't a drug addict. I was afraid of church people. I don't know if that happens in Amarillo, but where I'm from, they would gossip about you in the name of prayer. Well, pray for such and such. And when I got saved, I walked right into the restaurant, because there's always one restaurant in a small town that has all the gossip. I walked right in there and said, hey, I got saved. And instead of you talking about me, I want to tell you everything I've ever done wrong. And you know what? I got free that day free of what people think of me and now those same people that used to judge me are now the same people that watch me preach the gospel amen come on somebody put those hands down if you battle with gender identity or same-sex attraction i'm telling you god is going to use you to bring purity but you got to be honest men or women if you battle with that and it's been haunting you and you're afraid and I'm gonna tell you it doesn't matter how southern how western a town is I've seen country boys with camouflage hats battle but in this meeting we celebrate who God made you to be 
And it's our joy to set you free. If that's you, don't look around. Just lift those hands. One, two, three. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. Anybody in this place right here? I see a lady right here. I see a young lady right here. No, I'm talking about people that have battled with same-sex attraction. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed right here, brother. Come on. Come on. I want somebody to run and hug that boy right here. Right here. Go hug him right now. Go hug him right now. I want a father to hug him. Like, I want, Come on. Hug him right now. Hug him. I want you to hug him and pray for him. I want a male to hug him right now. Hug him. Hug him. Anybody else? Anybody else? You battle with same-sex attraction. I want you to lift your hands because God's going to set you free today. Come on, church. Shout for their honesty. Shout for their honesty. You, if you battle, raise that hand. You battle, raise that hand. There's two young men right here that are being honest. I want men to get around them and hug them. This may be a young lady you battle with it. Come on, don't be ashamed. Young ladies, don't be ashamed. I don't care if your parents are here. Tonight you're going to get free. Come on. The next thing, if you're a person and you battle with pornography, I want you to know a lot of people are because it's in your pocket. If you battle with pornography, lift those hands right now. Don't be ashamed. I want people that, oh, ma'am, I'm so proud of you. We, I'm so proud of you, a mother in the faith, being honest. Get around these kids. Get around these people. Mothers with mothers, men with men, and hug them right now with their honesty. Hug them and pray for them. You battle with pornography. Come on. Come on. Lift those hands. Lift them. I want you to hug them like you care about them. I want you to hug them like a family member. Just hug them. Come on. Hug them right now. Pray over them. Pray over them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pray over them. Pray over them. Pray over them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Come on. Set them free, Jesus. Set them free, Jesus. Set them free. Come on. Pray with all you got. Pray with everything in you. Prophesy over them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. attraction right here my brother where's the other one at he raised his hand there's one more there was one more there's him and there's another one right here i want men to get around him right now and i want you to pick him up like he just won the super bowl pick him up right now pick him up pick him up right now pick him up come on
on, just lift those hands for just a moment. Lift those hands. All the way in the back. I love you, mamas and grandmas. I see y'all way back there in them trees. <laughs> just lift those hands. Come on, you've been giving it all, all you got. Now just let him just let him move on you right now. Just let his presence move. Just receive. The fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit on. is on you right now. Come on. Come on. Fresh baptism. Everybody say this after me. Say, Holy Spirit, baptize me. Fresh fire, fall on me. Renew me. Revive me. Set my heart on fire. Come on, keep those hands lifted up. Now I want you guys all to pray in the Spirit. Just pray. Come on, come on, come on. Go after God. Go after God. Pray in the presence of the Lord. Pray in whatever language you have. Come on, pray right now. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Come on, you need a fresh baptism of boldness. A fresh baptism of fire right now. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Come on. And, bro, I'm so proud of you, man. Hey. I'm very proud of you, dude. You got wrecked tonight. What's your name? God's all over you, bro. This is 93 Cities. We've seen everything you can imagine. I told you there's more. Come on, give her a hand right now. Come on. You know you're getting free when you throw Seneca's on it. That's the, that's a real thing. Oh, be free in Jesus' name. Now look at me for just a moment. My ushers are going to get ready, but I want you to pay attention. Because after 93 cities, I've seen the same thing in every city. And God keeps getting stronger and stronger. And this is a new, somebody say new. This is a new Jesus people movement. That... This thing is just getting started. This is not about let us worship Floyd, any of us. This is about a new wine skin. That this is going to happen all over America in every city. Church, do you believe we need to be radical again? Say amen. Come on. Now look at me. Everybody go, shh. I love doing that. It's so great. Mamas and papas in the back, listen to me for just a moment. I've been a pastor now for 24 years. I've been in ministry. And I've heard this scripture so many times. It talks about test me. Everybody say test me. In your giving, giving your tithe. And it talks about in your giving, test me and see that I won't open up the windows of heaven. Say the windows of heaven. How many of you guys feel like the windows of heaven have been open tonight? And then it says, and, somebody say, and, and, I will fill your barns. Now, most of the time, we think that when we give, he's talking about opening up the windows of, your, of heaven in your household and money's going to fly through. That's really not what that scripture means. It's not talking about just money. That's why there's, and, I will fill, I will bless you. When it talks about the windows of heaven, you know what the windows of heaven bring? Healings. Revival, miracles, prodigals coming home. So when we give, not just our lives, but our, our seeds, when we sow, and the greatest thing you can sow into outside of your tithe is sowing into revival. When you sow into revival, you reap revival. But I believe God wants to open the windows of heaven tonight not just on Friday night, but Saturday night, Sunday, and all the churches. Come on, churches. And we came with the sound system and all this awesome stuff. But tonight, I'm not asking you to bless us. I'm asking you to bless your city. Because if you believe in the same book I believe in, we know when we sow, we're the ones that's going to get blessed. Amen, church? 
So I want you to do me a favor as my ushers can line up. I want you to take out your phones right now. Take out your phones. Everybody take out your phones. Awesome. If you need to get it from up here, you can. It's delivered now. Your phone's set free of all the viruses. Just line up right here. Take out your phones. Now I want you to text this number. Everybody say this number after me. 77977. Say it with me. 779. In the back, way back there, wave at me. Say it with me. Say 77977. All right, now text this. Some of you guys are looking at me. You ain't got your phones out. Pull your phone out and say that. Let us worship. Say it one more time. Say, let us worship. Now, when you text, let us worship to 77977, there's going to be a link that comes through and you can add your gift. Now, let me encourage you to give right now. Let me tell you why. Because number one, the devil will try to talk you out of your blessing. Number two, the Bible says in his riches and glory. Say that with me. Say riches and glory. You know, the greatest time to give is in the glory. Are you hearing me right now? And as you give, I want you to pray when you sow that seed, that revival and a fresh awakening is coming to Texas and Amarillo in your city. The second way you can give, everybody say Venmo. One more time, say Venmo. You can search for Let Us Worship on your Venmo account and we'll come up and you can give Venmo. Now, the third way, somebody say the third way, is I got some people with some cool buckets. Now lift those buckets up. If you don't see a bucket like this, don't give to them, amen. Because we've had people show up with their own buckets and start walking. That's why we have the buckets. You can give cash or you can make a check out to Sean Foyt Ministries. Now, if you can't spell that, it's simple. Say this with me. Say S-F-M. Now, in a minute, these ushers are going to go all the way around, all the way to the back, way back there with mama and papa and grandma and everybody. And when you sow that seed, I want you to say, God, bring revival. Are you hearing me right now? And say, open up the windows of heaven on Amarillo and on Texas. All right? Father, bless this offering in Jesus' name. Go for it, guys. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. The rest of you that are filling out on your phone. Now, on your Venmo account, if it says you need the last four digits of Sean Foyt's phone number, don't worry about that. Just scroll seven, up. 7777. Seven, seven. <laughs> just kidding. 2222. Two, 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 two. No, I'm just kidding. Just scroll up and say disregard that, okay? But listen to me. If everybody gives here tonight, can I tell you, we can change more cities. Amen. And if you have, if you want to give a huge gift, you're like, man, I want to write a big check that's bigger. And you want to come talk to me. We will happily be right on the side of the stage ready for that. And if you cannot give tonight, we want to bless you too. Amen. Hey, can we give it up for Jesus Christ? Come on. Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, sow a seed. All right. All right, y'all up for a couple more songs? We got to celebrate tonight. Oh, yeah, tell me. Also, before we're going to sing some more songs, I want to say one more, two more things. Number one, you need to buy all the Let Us Worship gear you can. Let me tell you why. It's great for Christmas, birthday gifts, but it's also a bulletproof vest. When you wear a Let Us Worship shirt, we go into the airports, people don't play with us. They're like, oh, that's them Jesus freaks right there. Amen. Get you a Let Us Worship shirt. And also remember on September 11th. Oh, yeah. Who's going to come with us to Washington, D.C.? Oh, that oh, was weird. Come, come on, on, Texas. Listen, kick in the devil's face from Texas. It's Washington, D.C. Listen, hear me out, guys. God opened a door for us that I've never heard of in 2021 in America. Last year, just church in America, in the Navy, on the mall. We're going to get a massive revival blowout in the center of Washington, D.C. Who's up for coming to that? The National Mall in D.C. I also want to mention this. Our team, I found out today, I didn't even know this. My team told me that for the last five months, Facebook has been purposely suppressing every channel that we do and so i have i have friends in government they reached out to facebook they said why are you doing this they said because let us worship and sean Voigt was flagged for dangerous content <laughs> i'm for real this is what they told me today 
And so I didn't even know this, but for the last five months, they've been suppressing everything that we do. And so it's even a miracle that you guys heard about this. So I have an idea. It's called this. Let's break the algorithm. Y'all y'all down with that? So when you go home tonight, post stories, post videos, tag us, follow us, blow it out, and let's break the algorithm of big tech that wants to silence the revival of what God is doing in America. How does that sound? Who say break the algorithm? All right, let's do it. And let's break the algorithm while we dance. How does that sound? Sing this with me. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath. Come on, y'all got to get more hype than this. Let's try it again. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord.
next to you. Joy is going with you. We're going to be in Midland tomorrow night. If any of y'all want to join us in the George Bush Convention Center, we're going to be in Fort Worth, Texas, yeehaw, on Sunday night. Trinity Park. We would love for any of y'all want to come, any of you roadies that want to come and bring the fire, join us. We're going to sing one more song. Actually, we got to drive to Midland tonight. I don't even know how far that is, but whatever. Four hours. Praise Jesus. Oh, hey, also, if you got wrecked tonight, even if you've done it before, don't worry about it. It's not like a religious thing that you do once and that's it. Tonight, I want you to be crazy enough to say, you know what? I'm never going to be the same. We got a baptisms. Where's the baptisms at? Right over there. We're going to celebrate you tonight after it's over with. You get baptized. Perfect weather to get baptized. I may do it just because it feels great. Amen. But listen, for real, go get dunked under that water and come back up as the revivalist God's called you to be. Amen. Y'all ready to sing some more? Come on, somebody. Hey. Come on, lift those hands. Let the key. 